Hello everyone, and I do have the tea on Mr. Bertolino, the lawyer, um, so get ready for that. But here's a quick little thing I learned today. We've spoken about the Appalachian Mountains a bunch of times. People called about it. Some people believe it's possible. Some people believe it's not. Also, they said that at the Appalachian Mountains, they have this thing where you're not supposed to use your government name. Like everybody has nicknames. It's frowned upon. You're not supposed to do that. Some of the people mentioned, which I thought was kind of interesting. That is just crazy. We know your name if you live in the hills. We might call you God knows what, but we know your name. We ain't trying to hide you. We know your given name. We know who you are. Deal with it. I just think that, you know, if people believe things like that, how do they come up with these things? How do you sit around and come up with such stupidity? But anyway, I have tea, so guess what? Hey! I got you a present! Here's your present. This is Mr. Steven Bertolino from the East Eastlip area of New York predominantly Long Island. He went to Hofstra, where he did get his law degree. I believe he graduated in 1984. The last registration notification is from 1995. Um, that straightens it out for you. So he's been an attorney a long time. This is the first article that was really talking about the attorney and goes through why he was hired that he was basically retained the moment that Gabby was stated as missing, um, that he did advise his clients to do the um, fifth, lead the fifth, don't say anything, because anything that they say at this point will be used against them. And we all have to agree, it's supposed to be innocent until proven guilty, but for people that have these highly politicized or highly um, media heavy cases it really is guilty until proven innocent and, and that's sad to see in America but he is providing a service and he is apparently a competent attorney I wouldn't necessarily say he's great um, because he does specialize in a wide array of services therefore he's probably not really specialized in any but the reviews and people you know regard him as a competent attorney and that's okay I'm okay with competent I would say if the charges do come out that the family may switch to a different criminal defense attorney. Um, but yeah, the, the little pissing contest that they got into the other day, um, it was because the other attorney had attacked him online. And I didn't know that this was happening. But the other attorney attacked him because apparently there was something yet left on the Yelp page. Then they thought that he had uploaded a picture of Gabby to basically profit from the attention it would seek him. Well, then I dug a little deeper and I found out that Yelp had basically shut him down. So basically what had happened was they had saw Gabby's picture and the parents wanted it removed, but the parents couldn't remove it themselves. Yelp said, only the business owner may remove this from Yelp. So the other attorney started calling him out, saying this needs to be removed, this needs to be shut down, this is distasteful. And he responded by contacting Yelp, and Yelp basically shut his page down. So here is what I can actually access on Yelp. It does have a warning at the top, as you can see from the heavy media presence, and it also throws up another warning here in just a moment. But everybody was being super negative. See the warning? Everyone was being super negative with this man. I mean, you're just a piece of trash. You're disgraceful. You're protecting a murderer. Don't you know that? Y'all, in America, it's innocent until proven guilty. And we have to have criminal defense attorneys. That is their job. People that did no-nos, they get attorneys too. So we have to have this attorney so that our criminal justice system goes off as planned and therefore if he is found guilty it will stick. We, he has to be able to defend himself though and this is the way he's going to defend himself. Sadly, he was quiet. The parents offered no help. Was it in their best interest? We will not know until it goes to court and we have the entire story in front of us. We have someone questioning him about that. But we need to understand that going to a Yelp page and leaving negative reviews when he's never even been hired by these people, this is just, this is not necessary. This is almost harassment. But you know something? Now you know a little bit more about Bertolino. I shared. I love it when we share. Bye, y'all.